Today, I'm going to show you how to recreate the wide Putin meme in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is a bit of a silly video, but it will work as a quick editing tip on scale and proportion. So I just got a random stock footage clip. I'm going to drag it onto my timeline. Now, it seems like the funny part about this meme is the distortion that's going on where things have just become unnecessarily wide. And the quick tip I have here is whenever you have a clip on the timeline, we know in our normal effect controls panel. We can always adjust the scale up and down and the position and whatnot. However, the quick tip here is how do we adjust just the horizontal scale to make it wider, but not taller? And to do that, you want to uncheck uniform scale and now it'll unlock scale height and scale width so scale height will go up and down, which we don't want in this case. We want scale width, so we'll just stretch it out to be like three times or four times as wide. You can just eyeball it, and then you just want to move over the position so that your subject is in the center of the frame. And basically now, if you want, you can call that the shot if your subject is in the center of the frame. Or as an additional tip, if you wanted to keep them in the center always, you just want to make sure you move the position and then add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon. And then, as the subject moves, simply move the X position over to keep them in the center. You can move forward a little bit and just keep moving that keyframe. And then move over a little bit until the subject is out of frame or you're done with the clip. So in this case, we have the subject moving constantly in the center, but it's funny because it's just distorted in a super wide way. It just makes them look powerful walking. One other way that you could do this, and this is only going to work for some clips, where the subject is in the middle of the frame always, or they don't move too much, is by using the crop video effect. So if I click and drag crop onto the clip, I can crop my subject in like so, right and left. And now I would have to keyframe this crop if I wanted to follow it. I'd have to slowly keep keyframing the left and right positions. And that's a little bit more tedious in my opinion than the first way. And then just make sure you click zoom. So it'll zoom and stretch out the rest of the image after the crop. This is another method that you could use, but like I said, it might be a little bit more tedious. And what's going to happen is you also might get varying amounts of width distortion. The first method is always 300, so the width was steady. But in this case, depending on how far the left and right crops are between each other, you might get a variation in width. But an alternate idea for you to toy with depending on your clip. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other meme editing videos on my channel and just my other tutorials in general for editing tips. And you can subscribe here on YouTube to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.